the artist takes on the Iceman Gerwin Price here in our penultimate last 16 clash of this Sunday afternoon in Hildesheim. And Rob Malarkey joins me to talk you through it. And Rob, with a tournament average of about 87, you feel Kevin Petter may need to up his game for this one? Yes. Um, on the face of it, a 6-2 win over Simon Whitlock is certainly impressive given the way that Whitlock's been playing of late but uh, when you break it down and look at the stats an average of 88 uh, in that match yesterday six from 23 on his doubles although as we've seen today you know averages of that nature and doubles of that nature as well stats have been enough today um, it's really difficult to weigh up all the players so far have not really brought their A game maybe the exception of Ian White who perhaps produced the best stats of the day so far but certainly room for improvements uh, from the majority for later on of those who have got through. So I think Painter has a tough assignment ahead of him, but uh, having beaten Whitlock and having come through a very tough first round match, first Gerwin to throw first. Game on. he may well fancy his chances, but Gerwin Price is another confident player right now. A man who contested the first TV final of his career against Peter Wright at the UK Nine Open recently. Six. And another player on the crest of a wave at this particular moment in time. So it remains to be seen. I think you can make a case for either, put it that way. Here's a man in form, Gerwin Price. Kevin Payne wow. did reach a semi-final at a UK Open qualifier in February. But before then, he hadn't been as far as the last date in anything since 2015. So really looking to wow. rediscover wow. the kind of form that has seen him reach the latest stages of, well, nearly every big mm. major tournament. As for Price, he's had a fairly lengthy time away from the stage. He was on uh, first yesterday against Christoph Ratajski, winning that one 6-1. He wasn't on stage for long either. Lost the first leg, but uh, bounced back by reeling off the next six. A couple of, uh, well, three very eye-catching checkouts yesterday. Two of 112 and one of 118, an average of 99. Difficult to read too much into it, given he was playing Christoph Ratajski. But a win's a win. One uh, great set-up shot there from Gerwin Price, and he certainly enjoyed it himself. Yes, Rob, you said he wasn't on the stage wrong. 15 minutes, the match time for that one. An absolute edge compared Eight to the other five. Gerwin yesterday, Gerwin Michael Van Gerwin, who did it in less than 10. Yeah, against uh, Wasimena. Van Gerwen on stage for slightly longer against Christo Reyes today, but coming through the top seed, the defending, sorry, the uh, champion of two Game years ago, the, the world champion as Gerwin Price, Gerwin Gerwin Price Gerwin looks to... Secure his place in the quarterfinals. He made the quarterfinals of a couple of Euro Tour events last year, but Kevin Painter just giving us an illustration of what he can do when the mood takes him. Yeah, the defending champion has, has been knocked out. Alan Norris defeated by Belgium's Kim Hybrex, who's looking to win his third European Tour title. Price and Painter both 60. aiming for their first. Yeah, Gerwin's never been beyond the quarterfinals of a Euro Tour event. Made the last eight in Gibraltar in 2015 as well. Two 39. appearances in the last eight last year also. Had to uh, come through qualifying for a few events last year before he became one of the seeded players via the Pro Tour Order of Merit. Didn't qualify at all for Munich or indeed the European match play in Hamburg. Yeah, reached the UK Open final, and then we uh, we saw he followed that up with a run to the semi-final of one of the Players' Championship events. He lost out to Rob Cross, who became the latest new name to win a PDC title a fortnight ago in Barnsley. Yeah. Watch out for him having a run towards the European Tour later this year. But right now, Gerwin Price looking to put the pressure on this 96 finish. So two darts away potentially and one dart away now double 18 to level the match double nine he doesn't like that the grimace is there the snarl is there but the double nine is there as well and that was uh, a good hole from painter because he was under a fair degree of pressure with uh, price just getting into contention in that particular leg Solivich or cullen Will be the quarter-final opponent for the winner of this match. 55. That'll be the final game of this afternoon's session. 
the tournament played out in its entirety. Saw the first round on Friday, second round yesterday, but to win today, you've got to win four matches. And maybe we have seen a few players feeding their way into the tournament this afternoon. It's a different prospect to prepare for a potential four matches than it is for one. Yeah, and uh, I suppose there is an argument if you are going to have a sluggish performance, get it out of the way early on, come through, ob obviously, but, uh, you know, build on that. 96. When the first round losers get a thousand pound by the way and it continues to go up by a thousand until 60. the semi-finals when it makes a two thousand pound jump to six grand and then ten for the runner-up 25 for the winner yeah an increase in prize money for the semi-finalists this year from five thousand pounds last One time round 32. so price down to the biggest finish of the lot one hundred. Going to require one hundred and seventy. Well, will he go for it? He's a bit of a showman, isn't he, Gerwin Price? We won't find out on this occasion. Yeah, he won't get the opportunity. He'll just look to uh, set this one up as best he can. That could have been a lot better. Maybe just half a chance here for Painter. Could have done without that, though. Fifty-five. Well, there we see Going to require a look of absolute disgust on the face of Kevin Painter there. Well, again, Kevin Painter averaging in the mid-80s. This can still go from Gerwin Price. Can't now, so Painter... 96. ...will need to produce a big finish... ...if he's going to grab an early break of throw. It is good to see Kevin Painter doing some... ...good stuff on the European stage, though. Former 96. World Championship finalist from 2004. Good to see him involved in the latter stages here this weekend. Game shot on the third leg. Darren Price. Price edges back ahead. Full flag, Kevin. His Tim best Rutherford. run before that UK Open final was a, in a major tournament. It was a run to the quarterfinals of the World Match Play in 2015. Six really seven. announced himself on the big stage then. And we mentioned it a few times over the weekend, Rob, but he is really a, a rapid success story since switching from rugby Forty to dart. Absolutely. Painter. An evergreen competitor, been around for such a long time, 43. almost unheard of to see the kind of darting doldrums where he's found himself for the last couple of years. He's outside the top 32 by some distance in the order of merit right now, Kevin Painter. He did get a place at the World Championship this year and won his first match before wow. losing to Phil Taylor. That was a bit of a Brucey bonus for Kevin because Kyle Anderson had visa problems and wasn't able to compete. 99. Did make the semi-finals of a European Tour event three years, uh, sorry, yeah, three years ago. He lost to Peter Wright in the semi-finals 6-5 in Dusseldorf in the European Open. Wright went on to lift the trophy that year as well. 81. But just one third round appearance in Europe last year. That was at the German Masters in Munich. He went down to Van Gerwen in the last 16 on the final day. 6-3. 30. Just missed out on qualifying for the European Championship by the European Tour Order of Merit. The tournaments he failed to qualify for ultimately did the One damage. As did a second round defeat by Ian White here in the final events of last year, last October. 16. So Jamie Caven qualified Going instead. A victory against White would have seen him qualify. It would have been enough on the count back at the expense of Caven, but. 60. Certainly putting in a better showing this time around, Kevin Painter, but in danger here of suffering a break of throw. He's on 209, Price lurking on 76, and Painter just takes a step back here just to recalibrate and just refocus. 80. Going to yeah, well, 76. Joey Price only lost one leg in the first match, and he could be on the brink of a break. We'll get one dart, a double top to achieve that now. Well, I think it bounced out of the single number or, or perhaps even the other dart, but uh, 129 is not the easiest of checkouts, so he will hope to be back. Yep, 72 remaining. Well, he won't be checking out just yet. Some players like the 2 double 18 route there, if your opponent's on a, a one dart finish. Yeah. 
but that's why it's one of those tricky finishes. Uh, sorry, 121. Last score. Going to require a Yeah, Kevin doing the right thing and making sure he scores corrected immediately. Kevin Price, Price unfazed by the shenanigans. Kevin Price. Fifth leg going to throw first. Game on. Yeah, because once the uh, players resumed, it's too late. That's, uh, but it mattered not in the end. Gerwin Price takes out double. Top for a 3 1 lead. He has the break. 35. And Painter <coughs> sluggish at the outset of this one as well. Already a sizable cushion, and Price is embellishing it here with a ton 80. And already it's a long way back for Kevin Painter. Needs to respond in kind, and he may well do just that. One there you go. Well, it's caught light all of a sudden. Price's first maximum, followed by Painter's second. 92. And now, despite the 180 from Painter, Price's 92. prior one has helped him. Going to require 94. Set up a potential 11 data. Will have to be 12. Could be. Seven. Well, Painter will get a shot. Kevin, you require and what a way this would be to break back. But it won't happen. And um, Painter once again hoping that Price can slip up. But Going to require three cracks here at double eight. Well, four. Game shot. And the it's four leg. one. And Very it's a long right. way back Six now for Kevin, Kevin Painter. Just the one break effectively, but 4-1 does look a sizable lead, however, you break it down. One red and 40. And a good solid start against the darts again from Gerwin Price. Painter really needs to pummel another one in there. One and he does. Well, he needed that after another sluggish start to this sixth leg and Gerwin Price has uh, just come off the rails here momentarily 29, 29 scored there hasn't chucked a single 140 yet Kevin Painter four turns and three maximums Gerwin Price has had five 140s which suggests why he's been down to finishes a lot quicker than his opponent in most legs well, Painter's left himself a bogey number here, but uh, Price is stranded on 2-8-9, and Painter can't make any significant inroads here anyway. 28. Oh, dear. Well, maybe it's just as well he did have that uh, cushion to start off with, because it could well be chipped away at it. Yeah, one eight in the leg, but a couple of loose visits. Darts flying into the five, and Price is going to punish. Well, well Kevin, you require one similar outshots left. Is this one going to go? 54, leaves 80. And he goes for two double tops. Well, you got one of them. 114. Going require 149. And that would really hurt if Price were to take this out. You wouldn't put it past him at this moment in time. It won't happen now. Well, we saw him do it at the UK Open, Kevin didn't we? The 160 20. to beat Ian White in a deciding leg. If anyone would question if Gerwin Price has got the nerve. Game show on the sixth he answered it then. Kevin Painter has managed to take more legs off Price than his previous opponent, Christoph Rotatsky, did. But here comes Price. 139. Just that. Uh, 120. Another loose visit from Painter, and they are creeping up the tally of them. And here's another one as well. He's straight over into the five bed this time. Better recovery on the 19s with two 120. in the treble bed. Yeah, there has been too many of those, Rob. Prices stayed pretty straight for the majority 90. of the match. We see Painter find a few darts sort of drifting generally into the five rather than the one. So I'm not sure what the uh, the technical reason for that is. One round 40. 
going to require 142. Well, that's a loose visit from Gerwin Price. Yeah, it certainly is. It's a, a little chance, this. It's a little chance. It, Price may take it at 115. It may be academic, but Painter is going to leave himself handy anyway. 139. But it is a chance, Gerwin this. Required. Pressure is on Price. 15. Yeah, it certainly is. Triple 19 would have left double eight, but uh, he's in good position here anyway, unless, unless... 75. Price takes out the 115, which he doesn't, and Painter here, all of a sudden, is really back in contention. A chance to break here. Two darts away, potentially. Tops. Game to get himself seven. back in the match. He's still got work to do, but it's a very, very significant step in the right direction for Kevin Painter. 4-1 down, he's retrieved the break. But a hold here would level the match. But he came for a battle against Stephen Burton, but produced a classy deciding leg. And then 60. Simon Whitlock never really turned up in the, with regard to the kind of form that Simon Whitlock's been in so far this year. And Kevin Painter took full advantage. And it's looked like an absolute cruise for Gerwin Price until that point there. Mm. One missed start to be 5-2 up. Instead, it's back on throw and Painter looking 43. to level. Yeah, and often you can look back and, and, and easily spot where the turning point is, and that's precisely it. Obviously, Gerwin Price will hopefully ensure it's not a significant One turning point by faulty. getting himself up and running once again here. But Kevin Painter had his fair share of tussles in qualifying for this event before the tournament 17. itself. Ricky Williams, 6-5 in his first round qualifier. Alan Taben and uh, John Henderson as well, 6-4 the pair. Yeah, I mean, if you add the qualifiers in, he's got to win an awful lot of games to get to the final of a tournament like this. But with some decent names that he would have beaten along the way. And, you know, it's not Why all about averages, is it? It's about getting to six to legs first. A few times, Price has fired in the first out of a big combination, but not been able to follow it with the second. However, that's a fantastic setup shot. And all Painter can do is hit and hope. One red and faulty. Well, that's uh, given him something to cling to, but uh, going price here, three darts at double ten, although he's been forced upstairs to double five, and he's split it as well. And Painter Kevin, with a real spring in his step as he stepped away from the table. Well, I'll tell you what, his trademark saying, Kevin Painter, is how'd you look, and it, it might just be in today. Game shiny eight. Well, he's making the most of it. Still had to satisfy his side of the equation, Chris, and he's done that with two darts there. And look what it means. He's getting the crowd going as well. And he's given the crowd a reason to cheer and a reason to get involved in this best of three matching out. Or well, does he think he's got going price? Well, he's got the momentum. 4-1 down. He's won three on the spin. Still effectively has to find another break here with Price having One thrown first. But he's clearly got the tail between his legs it. Yeah, he's G'd himself up, Kevin Painter. I meant the bit between his teeth. I've got my metaphors mixed 34. up there. We've all done it. It's a whole new kettle of ball games now, though, Chris. Hmm. I'll go back to my old favourite. Anyway. 97. It's uh, very much in the balance, this one. Certainly is, and Price needs a treble to leave any kind of finish here. One hundred. Does that. Now, Painter. A ton would leave him in the same vicinity. But now we'd be hoping for much more than that. One hundred. Mm, Don't well. require 167. What a time this would be to produce the big one. Doesn't find the treble 19. Again, first start in, but second not. Benito van der Pass found the bullseye earlier on for a 161. That's the highest check out of the tournament so far. So for Painter to break here, he may have to go one better. He's going the 19s route and it's not worked out for him. It was pretty close. Often the way, isn't it? If you, I mean, if you hit the first trouble 19, you've got a good positioner scored. for the second one. Yeah, so it makes sense perhaps to uh, do it the 19s way, but uh, he's just 
plotting his route to glory here. Well, he's got 95 left, so he knows that if he goes for 57, he's going to leave double 19, which is an awkward double. Yeah. But again, it keeps him in that vicinity, and maybe if he's honed in... Well, he's gone elsewhere anyway. 123! Well, he only requires 72. I'm amazed the hit a treble there because it took him so long to decide which route to go. And Gerwin Price has put a loose start there. It'll still allow him a, da a double. Game and he's landed it. <laughs> and he's out roared his opponent. What Take a reaction from Gerwin Price. No doubt as to what that meant to him. And from where he was standing, he kind of did that in Kevin Benner's face a little bit, didn't he? 95. You could see every vein bulging in his neck there. As he celebrated that one. 5 4. He's got his nose back in front and 95. he's just stopped that tide of painter legs, hasn't he? Three on the spin he secured. Still, it's in painter's power to one force a decider. Three. Got the throw in this one. 95 followed by a ton. It is his best performance of the weekend so 60. far. Average now above the 90 mark for the first time. And it's going to be much, much higher. 139. Down to a finish then, and he will have a couple of visits at least. To force an 11th and deciding leg. Kevin, you require 160. I just want to see, Rob, what kind of reaction Kevin Penner lets out if he does win this leg. Making hard work of it. Very, oh. very hard work. Just coming at the worst possible time. Not sure what was said or what happened there. Or was it someone in the crowd or was he looking at Gerwin there? I can't quite, couldn't quite tell. And now Price looking to punish. 98. Kevin, you require 156. Tension is tangible here. Painter's celebrations on hold as far as this leg is concerned, but that Bolton. is absolutely Bolton. perfect. As far as a setup is concerned, he'll be hoping to God that uh, Gerwin Price does not finish it off here, but just look at Gerwin Price go. Tops he wants for the match, and Tops he takes a 1-4-8 checkout from Gerwin Bryce, and a sickening, devastating blow for Kevin Painter, who must have been very confident indeed of at least being given the chance to salvage the situation in the deciding leg, but Gerwin Bryce was having absolutely none of that. A wonderful way to finish things off. Two very stylish checkouts from Gerwin Bryce there to seal the match. He was pegged back to four apiece, but a checkout of 72 and the icing on the cake, 148. Sees Gerwin Price once again into the quarterfinals on the European tour. Sulevich or Cullen lie in wait for him. We'll hear from him now. Yeah, I started missing doubles here and there. I don't know what happened. No, fair play to Kevin. He dug in deep and he got it back to four all, but I knew if I kept scoring as well as I was, I was going to get chances and the 148 was not too bad, huh? Ah, oh, pretty good. <laughs> uh, Gerwin, you, you were a rugby player, we know that. When did you actually start playing darts? As a kid as well or, or, or later? No, I, d I probably started playing darts about five years ago and I've always played rugby since I was a, a young boy and I, I never really had any interest in darts and hence my name, the Iceman. I never really knew Alan Warren, that's why I had the name, otherwise I wouldn't have had it. But no, I've, I only started playing darts about five years ago, and here I am. Unbelievable. Good story. See you later again. Thank you, Gerwin Price.